The first time I was exposed to a compound bow was when I was young on a camping trip with my cousin Shane. It was a left-handed bow that I could barely draw back. I was probably 18 at the time. The second time was very recent with my brother on yet another camping trip. I found shooting the bow to be very enjoyable. I discussed that enjoyment with my wife in passing and have always mentioned to her that if I got back into hunting, I would like to do so by bow hunting. Yeah, he's pretty good size. Pretty good size. Now, Fast forward to Christmas morning, and what did my wife leave under the tree? My first bow. Well, there's a new bow for Christmas. Uh, I can tell you already, it's going to be pretty addicting. And uh, there's lots to do with these. This is a Diamond um, Infinite Edge Pro, is what it is. Uh, from what I can gather, my wife got this for me, so I was actually doing a lot of research after. She surprised me. Um, a great starter bow is basically what it is, but I, I tell you, does it put a smile on my face? Uh, that's an absolute yes, so I'm excited to explore this world a lot more. This bow has a draw length of 13 to 31 inches. I have mine set up at 27. Axle to axle is 31 inches. Draw weight is from 5 to 70 pounds. I've currently got mine set at 60. It's got a 3 16th inch peep sight. And overall, for a great little starter bow, I've had a lot of fun with it. There's a lot of things I enjoy about this archery process, and here's a few. I'm fortunate to live in an area where a five minute walk from my front door, I can shoot. It's a little bit colder today than it has been, but thought I'd get out and continue to shoot this week. I'm just absolutely loving this bow thing. But uh, one thing I really like about it is honestly right where I am now, this is a five minute walk from my front door. So it's very easy for me to come out and throw some arrows down range. And one of the biggest things, it's free. And once I get over the initial cost, and aside from the occasional bow maintenance and arrow replacement, to go out and throw some arrows down range, it's basically free. I enjoy the fact that there is form and skill involved in making a good shot. I think I need some work in general on my anchor points too. I still may have to adjust this bow down the, down the road, maybe the peep sight or something. I even love the sound that the bow and arrow make as the arrow is released and the sound as the arrow strikes the target. And one aspect that has really stood out to me in the first week of shooting, you don't have to leave on a bad group. Now for the guys, gals that may have just stumbled on this video that don't know, I do a lot of handgun shooting, some rifle shooting. Um, one of the things that really stands out to me about archery is you never have to leave on a bad group. Or if I'm out shooting, I might spend my last round. Well, there's no more rounds to spend, right? It's gone. Once it's gone, it's gone. The archery is a different story. Now, what I did do is I did move back up to 20 yards, um, but I'm really trying to focus on my anchor points, play with different things, kind of get a feel for it. But this is my, my last shot. I'm gonna leave the day on this, because this is a pretty good one, at least for me. So that's what we're looking at. Again, guys, I moved back to uh, 20 yards on this, so this wasn't 30. But uh, I'll take it. As someone who's learning, I'll take it, so. I'm really excited about this archery process. And as I stated, I'm wondering why I didn't get into it earlier. So I'm excited to see where this takes me. Maybe it's just the enjoyment of target shooting. Maybe I'll enter the world of hunting down the road, who knows. Either way, all I know right now, I'm having a lot of fun.